Maui, Hawaii, the magical island. For the past four decades, tourists have flocked to this paradise in the Pacific for its white sandy beaches, its sun, and adventures in snorkeling, scuba, surfing, and windsurfing. Aloha and welcome to Lahaina Harbor. In the 19th century, this was home to the Pacific whaling fleet. Now it's just one of the backdrops for a race runner's world calls one of the most beautiful marathons in the entire world. Every year, runners from across the globe make the pilgrimage here for the Maui Marathon in a race that will test themselves against the elements in a race for honor and glory. Here it is, 10 after 5, a year's worth of planning and we're ready to go. Everything's working out great. Blues are in place, uh, we got our blue light ready to go. We're going to have our wheelchair starting here shortly and uh, we're off to a great day. Let's just hope the weather helps us out. The opening ceremony is underway at Kahamanu Center in Kahalui. The finish, 26.2 miles later. We start off with a group aerobic session said to be one of the largest in the world with anywhere between 500 and 1,000 participants. A record number of entries for the 29th annual running of the Maui Marathon. Over 2,000 will take on the 26.2 mile course. The first leg of the journey, a flat 8.5 miles to Malaya Fishing Village and the Pacific Ocean. The next 4.5 miles through the Pali Cliffs, running high above the Pacific Ocean. The final leg, 13.2 miles on flat road through historic Lahaina town, finishing at Kahanapale Resort and Whalers Village. 5.29 a.m. and our runners are finally assembled at the start line for the traditional Hawaiian blessing. The last minute preparations now out of the way. We're ready for the largest field ever to run the Maui Marathon. And they're off. Bib number three in the red, Eddie Hellebuck, the odds-on favorite to win this marathon. The 29th Maui Marathon, rated number nine in North America by the ultimate guide to marathons and one of the 10 most scenic marathons by Runner's World. But for the next 45 minutes, these runners will see mostly darkness as they head out over two miles of residential streets and then six miles of highway to the Pacific Ocean. As expected, Eddie Hellebuck from Albuquerque, New Mexico, out to the lead, very confident when we talked to him yesterday. I spoke with uh, Bob, uh, the race director, and he said uh, it's going to be a tailwind in the beginning, so I definitely will use the advantage of uh, having a tailwind. So I probably will go out a little bit faster than I was expect, uh, because I, I want to go after the course record. Uh, the course record is 224. So if I can go through halfway with a little bonus, it uh, will help me relax at the end of the marathon thinking about 109, 110 for the first half and then keep it going and uh, break 224 for sure then. Hellebuck's top rival, Aaron Pearson, the defending champion and course record holder. Running with Eddie is gonna be, uh, gonna be a very serious race and uh, more than likely it is gonna come down to the, uh, the last few miles and it's gonna come down to who is the strongest. And I hope be the strongest competitor then. And the odds on favorite to win the women's division, Mari Tanagawa, a 30-year-old from Japan, the course record holder and again defending champion. The Maui Marriott is the headquarters hotel for the 99 Maui Marathon. It's also home to the annual carbo loading party, considered one of the most famous in the world, annually sold out and attended by nearly all the racers. It's a chance for racers to catch up and reminisce about Marathon's past and talk about Marathon's future. The Maui Marriott is situated on 15 oceanfront acres along Kaanapali Beach on Maui's sunny western shore with access to running paths and beautiful amenities. Most runners make this their home away from home on their visit to Maui. And staying at the Maui Marriott means experiencing casual elegance while being treated to the Aloha spirit. The 29th running of the Maui Marathon, Run With the Whale, is being brought to you by the Maui Marriott, official headquarters for the Maui Marathon, located on world-famous Kaanapali Beach. And by the Kaanapali Resort Association, Kaanapali Maui, where the world comes to play.
Welcome back to the 29th running of the annual Maui Marathon. Dawn is quickly approaching as we catch up with our lead runner, Eddie Hellebuck, who in dramatic fashion just moments ago, under the cover of darkness, took back the lead over Gustavo Varela at aid station number one. The diminutive Belgian native now setting the pace with long, powerful strides. Running right about a five minute per mile clip, 10 miles in. Varela and a host of others struggling to stay with a blistering pace. 6.14 a.m., Varela in second, still fluid, but losing ground to Helleba. Now comes the hard part. The poly cliffs, 4.5 miles of rolling uphill, hugging the Pacific Ocean, a test of stamina, will, patience, and desire. Approaching the uphill, a pack of four runners, including Robert Matto, Karen Grant, and Mari Tanagawa, running second and third in the women's field. Tanagawa with the pass. Last year's women's champion and course record holder, now in second place behind surprise leader Uli Puchner from Austria. Puchner's still fresh and running strong. As is the men's leader, Eddie Hullabuck, the Cliffs offering a stunning backdrop for the race. Now in third place, but fading in the women's field, Karen Grant. Gustavo Varela, still in second overall behind Helleba. Aaron Pearson, current course record holder, in third place, Varela still in sight. In seventh place, island favorite and Maui resident, Joe Alouetta. Behind him, Brian Peoples from Kihei, Hawaii. Behind them, Patrick Benedict and Udo Ray from Germany. A three-pack of runners, four through six, Nicholas Krohn, Takuya Hitomi, and Jeffrey Martin. Still the class of the day so far, Eddie Hullabuck approaching the halfway point of this 26.2 mile marathon. Aaron Pearson, last year's champ, still third. Surprise women's leader, Uli Puchner from Austria, grinding it out at the head of the women's pack. Puchner now stretching the lead to 123 over Tanagawa, two minutes plus over Grant, Jeannie Wokash, a three-time winner of this race, now in fourth. Uh, what I have basically here is a performance art. So it's something that you, it's like music or dance, it's something that you create, you share, you enjoy it, you let it go, and you look forward to the next one. And I moved to Maui about 15 years ago and started doing it probably about 12 years ago. And it started out just as a, you know, for my own enjoyment. I've had the opportunity to, to uh, travel all over the, the world and learn from some of the very top sculptors in the, in the world doing this stuff. And it's, but it's basically it's still the same thing as any sculpting uh, is doing. Is basically what you want to do is be able to pre-visualize it. And once you visualize it, then it's just up to you to utilize the tools and techniques to make it work that way. Yeah, it's not something you would pursue necessarily as a, as a career choice, but um, it's just something that worked out that way. And, um, have to start at one point and pretty much work your way out or around it away from him. It's a run with the whale, so this basically will be the whale's tail, the sunset, has some little wave action, and then the Maui Marathon below it. Do you, do you find sand gratifying? Oh, absolutely. It's therapeutic. It's uh, pretty much a 100% positive um, energy because I'm exchanging energy with people and it's always positive so there's not much really other than this rain and this weather not much negative to this job. The weather also continuing to underscore our men's story. Under cool temperatures and steady light showers Eddie Hullabuck on record pace, Varela and Pearson locked in a battle for second and third. Checkpoint Charlie, Hellebuck out of the cliffs at water station number nine. The rain continues to fall but 12 miles of level road is ahead. Four miles of cliffs now behind him. Back 503, Gustavo Varela just behind him, defending champ Aaron Pearson. Varela trying to cool by dousing his lower body. Six fifty a.m. Women's leader Uli Puchner still strong. Defending champion Tanagawa in second place, pushing to stay close. 
The long loping strides of men's leader Ed Hellebach in command at the halfway point of this race. Buchner reaches the 11 mile mark still in first, showing few signs of fatigue from the cliffs, but slowly losing ground to Tanagawa. The leaderboard, Buchner at 136.31, Tanagawa 23 seconds back, Grant at plus 48, Wokash holding fourth, 147 behind Buchner. They call it the Run with the Whales, the 29th edition of the Maui Marathon. Our leader, 1996 Olympian Eddie Hellebuck, on pace to set a new course record, battling the traffic and the elements. Back 743, Nicholas Crone and Jeffrey Martin in fourth and fifth. Just ahead of them, defending champion Aaron Pearson from San Francisco and Gustavo Varela from Honolulu, Hawaii. So the men's standings after nearly 15 miles. Hellebuck way out front. Pearson now in second place. Morella seconds behind Pearson. Nicholas Krohn, the Austrian, now in fourth. A much tighter battle for the women's lead. Uli Kuchner from Austria and defending champion Mari Tanagawa from Japan blocked step for step, less than 10 yards apart. Miles ahead, men's leader Eddie Hellebuck sensing victory with eight miles still to go. His lead now almost eight minutes over second place runner and defending champion Aaron Pearson, Gustavo Varela in third behind Pearson. Varela from nearby Honolulu running in his very first Maui Marathon and only his fourth marathon ever. Our leader, Eddie Hellebuck, the 1996 Olympian, closing in on a new course record. In the women's field, defending champion women's course record holder Mari Tanagawa from Japan, making a move on upstart Uli Puchter from Austria. Tanagawa back in first in this seesaw battle, suffering stomach problems, but refusing to yield. Five miles to go, and Hellebuck still with a tremendous stride. In second place, Pearson's hope for a second straight win beginning to vanish. Making the turn in the historic Lahaina town, Eddie Hellebuck just a few miles from victory. The leaderboard. Now nine minutes and 45 seconds over Pearson. Crone now in third place. As you might imagine, Hawaiian culture and recreation permeate Lahaina Town. Upon closer look, visitors will also discover an interesting history, dating back several centuries. A whaling port in the 1800s. Today, boats of a different kind ride the shoreline. Native Hawaiian flora and fauna abound. Remnants of a story past are present for all to see. The master's reading room, built for masters and officers of visiting ships, remains much as it was when it was built in 1834. And the remnant bricks of King Kamehameha's palace rest near the town square. Just short of Lahaina Town, Mari Tanagawa maintaining her lead in the women's elite field, still in a tight-knit battle with Uli Puchner from Austria, Jeannie Wokash, a three-time winner, now in third place. Tanagawa continues to battle stomach problems, now in first place. The question, can she hold on? No apparent problems for men's leader Eddie Hullabuck, the winner of 19 different marathons around the world, in complete command here in the 29th running of the Maui Marathon. The heli shot of Tanagawa reaching aid station 13, 20.7 miles in, exiting the course to again confront her physical demons. Just moments behind, a rejuvenated Ulrika Pruchner once again regaining the lead.
from the helicopter, we can see Putner now 15 to 20 seconds ahead of Tanagawa. Four miles short of the finish line, and Eddie Hellebuck continues to outclass the men's field well on his way to a fourth record. The lead story in the women's elite field, the back and forth battle between current leader Uli Puchner from Austria and defending champion Mari Tanagawa from Japan. Leaving Lahaina, now just two and a half miles from victory, Eddie Hellebuck. Still in second place, but well back to Hellebuck, defending uh, champion. 100 Austria. yards, huh? 100 yards. Now in third place and challenging Pearson, Nicholas Krohn, the Austrian who finished second to Hellebuck, the recent Tahiti Marathon, running his personal best. Back to Hellebuck, the leader since mile two, now running an amazing 5.19 mile per hour clip over 24 miles. In fourth place, Jeffrey Martin, the 40-year-old Michiganer, still with a chance at a top three finish. Seconds behind Martin, 25-year-old Gustavo Varela of Honolulu, fading in his first Maui Marathon. Back out to the Hanoa Pulani Highway, and Tanagawa turning it up for a final 4.5-mile push to the finish. Once again, after suffering stomach cramps, she is able to catch and pass Buchner, an amazing story of grit and tenacity. Still plenty of ground to cover here at the 29th running of the Maui Marathon. A battle to the finish line in the women's field and a possible course record for the men. The 29th running of the Maui Marathon is being brought to you by the Maui Marriott, official headquarters of the Maui Marathon, located on world-famous Ka'anapali Beach. And by the Ka'anapali Resort Association in Maui, where the world comes to play. Back in a moment with the conclusion of the 29th Maui Marathon. Seven fifty-nine a.m. Nicholas Crone now in second place, less than two miles from the finish line. Ahead, Eddie Hellebuck just strides away from victory. Come on, Eddie! The 1999 Maui Marathon champion for the men, 38-year-old Eddie Hellebuck! Woo! Ha ha! 2-19-22, new course record for Eddie Hellebuck! I was surprised when I saw the newspaper this morning that I uh, wasn't the favorite. <laughs> and that gives me a little bit of motivation. I told Bob when I came here, I come here to run for time. And I didn't, didn't just come here to sit and win. And uh, this time I just wanted to run so fast as I can. And so I'm really happy. And it was a completely emotional run from start to finish. Austria, 27 years old. He's moved into second place. This is Nicholas. Chrome! There you go! And here comes Aaron Pearson! Aaron Pearson! Congratulations, you have to feel good about today, hey? Uh, yes, I had a good race. I started it slowly, and then in the second half, I. I yeah, I did better and better, and so I finished second. The toll, 26.2 miles, will take on a body. Aaron Pearson, third place finisher, stretching out painful leg cramps. Two and a half hours from the start, Mari Tanagawa still clinging to a slight lead over Uli Kukner, heading into the final mile. Just ahead, Jeffrey Martin with a glance back at his pursuer. Behind him, we've got Richard number five right now. Jeffrey Martin of Huntington Woods, Michigan. He's going to take fourth place in a final sprint to the finish. And Honolulu's Gustavo Varela coming in fifth place overall. Five runners in under the conditions of a rainy day. Now let's check in with third place finisher, Aaron Pearson. 
I, I gave it my best shot. Uh, third place. It seems like it happens like this all the time. I went back to San Diego to defend my title a couple years ago, and I took third there also. Uh, so, top three finish in competition like this. Everything went, everything went pretty well. Now on the approach to the finish line, Japan's Mari Tanagawa, the exclamation mark on a grueling mano a mano battle with Austrian Uli Kuchner. She did it last year and set the course record 240. 37, come on, make some noise for Mari Tanigawa. 249-12, 12th place overall. And she had some competition out there. We've got second place for the women coming in right now. Racer number 12, second place, Ulrike Buchner of Linz, Austria. It was a great race. <laughs> yeah, I was so strong. And because the leading woman, she was always having problems and was behind me and overtook me. And so I was very motivated. The final results from Maui. Eddie Hellebuck, the runaway winner. Throne of Austria second, Pearson third, Martin fourth. For the women, Tanagawa wins it in 249-13. Kuchner second, 24 seconds back. Edie Wokash in third place. And so the elite runners at the 29th Maui Marathon done for the day. Eddie Hellebuck smashing the course record by well over five minutes. Mari Tanagawa coming from behind and battling stomach pain to win her second straight. For many others though, the challenge continues. Still running to finish and to set personal records and to raise money for worthy causes like diabetes. And the Leukemia Foundation team in training, 285 runners from all across the US here to raise money in one of the biggest charitable fundraisers on the island. A good time? Yeah! They're raising some money? Yeah! So the sun sets on another day here in Maui. The soft ocean breezes and the waves kick up once again. Thanks for joining us for the 29th running of the Maui Marathon. As they say here in Maui, mahalo, thank you. And Maui no kaoi, Maui is the best.